Hey guys, I'm gonna show you three simple ways to create eyebrows and eyelashes in Blender. Watch till the end because it's gonna be more interesting and give me a like. So let's get it started. Okay guys, this is the first technique we are gonna learn together. You just need to press Shift A and add a plane, scale it with S and rotate it with R, turn on the snap to face and then add a shrink wrap modifier and choose the face as the object. Then go to edit mode and start grabbing these points and click E to extrude them and scale them. Okay, while are you doing this, you can grab any points you want and click G, R to move or rotate them. Then you can press Ctrl R and add a loop here. And also for making it kind of more complex, you can grab these points, Shift D to duplicate them and then extrude them. Also, you can grab these points here, click M to merge the points and click at last or at the center. Okay, I think that's good for now. So for adding thickness to the eyebrow, you can add a solidify modifier and change the thickness. Then you can add a subdivision surface modifier to make it more smooth. And again, after adding these modifiers, you can again go to edit mode and grab any points you want and start modifying them. Actually, it just depends on the eyebrow you want to make. Also, in the edit mode, you can add a loop here by pressing Ctrl R and then grab these points and extrude them like this and make the eyebrow you want. But I'm good with the previous form. After that, you can add a mirror modifier and mirror the eyebrow. Okay, cool. Let's start creating eyelashes. Okay, for the eyelashes, Again, Shift A and add a plane, scale and rotate it, move it here, turn on the snap to face. Also, you can add a shrink wrap modifier and then grab the points in edit mode and start extruding. And while you're extruding, you can grab the points, scale and rotate them. Now choose these points and press E to extrude them and click G to move them. Then start grabbing these points and move them and then add a new loop by pressing Ctrl R here because we're gonna make it curve like this and then you can add a solidify modifier and add a bit thickness to it and then add a subdivision surface modifier and make it more smooth. And then after that go to edit mode and try to modify these new points to have a better shape for your eyelashes. Guys, as you see, I'm uh, explaining step by step how to make eyebrows and eyelashes and also I'm going to show you three ways to do that. So it all depends on you that what way you like to use for your 3D characters. There are many artists, many great artists that use this technique for their 3D stylized characters and it's so good I think. It's simple and good. You can use it for your characters. But still I think in my opinion in this field it's better to learn many techniques to do different things because when you learn many different techniques you can be more creative and as you know creativity is so important in this field so i suggest that you learn all the techniques also i love zbrush and i work with that software i work with both blender and zbrush because i know zbrush and i know how to do some stuff there and also i know how to do them here in blender so sometimes i translate some techniques that I use in ZBrush in Blender. And if you've ever worked with ZBrush, it feels so good that you can do the same stuff in ZBrush and Blender with the same technique. So please learn all the techniques because one day it's gonna be useful. Okay, for the lower eyelashes, again, you can add a plane and snap it to the face and like the upper eyelashes, you can make it. That's exactly the same process, just you can watch this. Okay, we have finished the first technique. As you saw, it was so simple and easy to work with. Let's start the next one. Okay, 
So the next technique for creating eyebrows and eyelashes is by using mask brush. First, you should go to sculpt mode, press M to choose mask brush, and then start masking the shape you want for your eyebrows. Remember, by holding control, you can unmask the area. This technique is so similar to the technique that I used for creating clothes in Blender. I put the video up here, make sure to watch it because it's so cool. Then go to mask and click extract mask make sure to uncheck extract to solid option and click ok then you can use quad remesher so change the quad count and then click remesh as you see it gives you a clean topology i explained using it in the clothes video that i told you then right click in edit mode and smooth vertices also in edit mode you can turn on proportional editing and start grabbing the points you want and move them or scale them like this so here after modifying the points in edit mode we need solidify modifier and subdivision surface modifier and then mirror it okay in this technique for creating eyelashes I'm gonna find a curve area for example I'm gonna mask this area for the eyelashes because as you know the eyelashes are curved so it's better to find a curve area and then do the same process like before extract it remesh it by using quad remesher and then smooth the vertices guys as i said before if you are a zbrush user you are so familiar with this technique because in zbrush we use this technique i i mean mask and then use z measure to remesh it and then extrude it and then divide it a few times so it's so similar to zbrush so you can choose the eyelashes and after cleaning the topology you can go to sculpt mode and using grab brush you can move it to the eyes and start fitting it you can use grab brush for this and also you can use inflate brush and inflate the middle part of the eyelashes and make it curve and also use smooth brush and smooth it just watch the process i think there should be some guys that love to use this technique instead of the previous technique because as i said it's so similar to zbrush okay after you create the eyelashes go to object mode and you can choose the eyelashes and eyebrows and click ctrl l to copy the modifiers because we want the same modifiers and then you can change the thickness and as you see it's done and if you like you can use this technique for your eyebrows and eyelashes and it, it all depends on you so again i suggest that you learn all the techniques to be more creative okay guys let's go to the next interesting method for creating eyebrows and eyelashes using the curves so first in object mode shift a and add a path and then add a circle make them smaller choose the path go to object properties and under the bevel option go to object and select the circle as the object so now you can select the circle go to edit mode and then start modifying the points of the circle and give it the shape you want as you know guys from my previous video this circle here acts like a profile for the path then select the path go to edit mode and then start making the eyelash the hotkeys that i'm using is alt s for making the points bigger and also ctrl t for tilting it i'm just using alt s for making some variations to the path if you want to learn completely how to use these curves how to make braids or curly hair or straight hair using these curves and making different kinds of profiles for the path i suggest that you watch this video because in this video i explained completely how to create 3d stylized hair using curves in blender and it is so cool you know it is one of my popular videos and i'm sure that you learn many techniques there so make sure to check it out you can press shift d to duplicate it and make it bigger or smaller you know you can use a reference photo for the eyelashes and start creating your eyelashes like that i mean you should make different size of eyelashes here make them bigger smaller to have a more natural eyelashes so watch the process carefully 
By the way, guys, I always try to make it so simple for you and and try to explain to you as simple as I can. There are some other cool techniques for creating everything in Blender or ZBrush and I really plan to make videos for all of these techniques for you and also some guys in the comment section wanted to learn how to create hair using hair card and particles so I will definitely make videos about hair cards and particles so don't worry about that Okay guys, we finished the eyelashes, so let's go to the eyebrows. This time I'm gonna use grease pencil, because I think it's easy to work. So shift A and go to grease pencil and add a blank. So after you do that, when you go to this menu, you can see that it added a new option, which is draw mode. So go to draw mode. Okay guys, now whatever you draw here, you can actually transfer it to the curves and then do the same process like before. So first I'm gonna go to viewport display and choose in front so that I can see what I'm drawing here. Then here you can choose the pencil you want to draw with. I think ink pen is good for now then you can here change the radius and strength of the brush and then after that you can start drawing the eyebrow you want here but please make sure to create a natural eyebrow you know a few years ago i used to practice drawing eyebrows because i i thought it was fun and now i can see that it's helpful for me now so also you can use a reference photo and draw on it but now i don't need a reference photo and i think it's good for now i can handle it so start drawing the eyebrow you want it depends on your reference photo also you can use erase brush and erase some parts that you don't want so after you finish drawing you can select your drawing go to edit mode you can right click and choose smooth the vertices then go to object mode right click and choose convert to path so now when you convert it to path you can see that in your collection it creates a new layer for you which is called gp layer so select it and move your curves to the right place here then go to edit mode here go to object properties lower the resolution to one if it's high and under the bevel option go to round and increase the depth so i think it's cool now but you can see it's so flat now so we need to turn on the snap to face and click g to snap the eyebrow to the character then you can choose the eyebrow go to edit mode turn on the proportional editing then go to select menu and choose select first press alt s and make the first vertices smaller also for make it more interesting you can select the middle points on the eyebrow and then select alt s to make them bigger and also select these points and make them smaller after you change the points, you can go to object mode, right click and convert to mesh. Also guys, if you want to decrease the polygon counts, you can add a decimate modifier here and then add a subdivision surface modifier and then you can select it and go to sculpt mode and again you can choose grab brush or elastic brush to move the shape. You can exactly do the same process for the eyelashes. I mean, you can choose the eyelashes, convert them to mesh, and add a decimate modifier and apply it. Also, if you want to have more smooth eyelashes, you can add a subdivision surface modifier to them. So guys, I think it was interesting and also simple. Hope you learned all the techniques and get what you want from this video. So if you like this video, please give me a like and wait for my future videos, which are gonna be interesting. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, please write in the comments below and, and tell me exactly what you need to learn so I can make a video for that. So thanks for watching. See you soon.